It takes the tragedy of thousand sacrifice to make Jesus to us cry. And you gotta ask yourself, how is it that we become so desensitized? But let me tell you why. Because psychological conditioning is a very powerful thing. It's left us paralyzed in a better lives. We're so suspicious of one another because of the color of our epidermis and our eyes. That's why they killed Malcolm X when Mecca helped him to realize. When he, whenever he changed up his rhetoric, they killed the man like a heretic. General oppressed and misleading of lies has led black communities in a spiral of air and fire. And it's led peace people of various descent really believe that they're nothing more than just generic white. It's alive and well. A certain centrism has made these beautiful dark skinned queens feel the need to wear these weaves. It's got my other brother stepping on their own community's toes for some real fast G. And it's absolutely reinforced my own peeps' racist ways of thinking. See, Fox News is what they really believe. And to add insult to social injury, the higher education system isn't even what it seems. We got professors of philosophy at UMKC teaching contextually in Greek. They're leading masses of students to believe that the love of truth and, and knowledge and wisdom is originally just a European thing. See, I know my poetry says a lot of bold shit, but I'm ready and willing to do or die for this. I'll let my blood shed for the potential salvation of the walking dead. We're surrounded by zombies and misled armies, but by the grace of good God, there's no way that you can harm me. Mm. Rest in peacefully, my body may be, but my spirit and soul's forever gonna breathe. But we've been programmed by a regularly scheduled program. Lying to us about the definition of a real man and what it truly means to stand. So you get this. A mason only stands at 33 degrees at his epitome. That's the position that leaves a head turned downward away from the horizon as if bowing to a rebel to tell me what's the essence in your message. Mm. We're subject to this machine. They built a bump to the population just like the trampoline. On the 1st and the 15th, we get our hands on a little bit of green, then we bounce it right back up to the elite to the hierarchies we indulge in all these material things. See, I've reached the point you couldn't possibly try to convince me that I'm delusional as I speak. My time with the Spirit inspired all these words in me. See, even that dollar bill regards the origin of God's will. The eagle and fly the breast of the pyramid. The inspiration within the Egyptians and through them what God did. They're still over there fighting over the Gaza Strip while Ethiopia stands forgotten and humble just as the original man did. Oh, how deceptive are the words they spit. But as a collective, we just soak it up like we fucking love it. Yeah, like we can't get enough fun, but we just keep drinking that sparkling, pretty poison. But tell me, how, tell me, how strong would you feel peace and contentment when you sit naked alone and just breathe? How often do you submit to the spirit from the stand to your knees? Minus the Facebook and all the mindless tweets that you step away from all the silence aside from all your selfish desires and all your greed. See, we as the people, are in dire need. My military service has served me. It allowed me to see the notion of these corporatized old Jesus they promote intimidating presence across our international seas. And then to build on a foundation while affirming what was already, already a suspicious belief in me that we're all the same underneath. So I stand before you and I shed my skin that I'm in for the sake of all women and men. Because as I watch, I just wonder, what have we done, you know? Tell me, what have we done? What is this world that we're offering to our daughters and to our sons? We gotta let our pride be communal and slow the rate of all the damn funerals. See, it's no longer just death by the gun. We're killing ourselves by the context that our minds run. We gotta embrace who we are and what we stand tall for and where we came from is a blood and a love that is one. Let's take a stand and raise a future generation of truly educated, gentle men and dignified women who are truly concerned with how the time and energy is spent. And at the day's end, peace, truth, and blessings be upon you. A people that's oppressed and depressed as we've ever been. Thank you for your time.